Hey guys, welcome to Techo World. Today we will learn Ink Splash Slideshow. You can create interesting, attractive slideshow by using these skills. We will learn how to use the Ink Splash Slideshow or how to make the transitions of Ink Splash for posts that looks more attractive in your Instagram, Facebook post and more. So let's start now. We will create new composition. Let's call it as Ink Splash with we can set to 1080 pixel and height 1920 frame rate to 30 frames per second and duration to 10 seconds now we will create background for this click right button and select solid let's call it as BG we will add color for this now Search for 4 color gradient, select it and double click on it. Choose the color according to your choice. and resize the scale and in media to drag and drop image to and also resize this image now go to ink splash drag and drop the media one composer into the timeline let us give the motion for media one layer hit s for scale give the keyframe set the scale to one one zero percent that is 110 percent and go to end set the scale to 100 percent now drag and drop ink splash clip let us rotate this now hit r and rotate it to 90 degrees so that the clip size perfectly sets within our screen I want to hide the background of this clip for which we have to search luma key and double click on it. Go to luma key in key type change it to key out brighter threshold it to 50. Duplicate this video layer hit ctrl plus D and resize the scale according to your requirement. and we will cover this media follow the same process to cover it ok now we have covered it all over so let us move these layers few frames forward except first layer like this You can see the ink splash here. Okay, fine now. We will pre-compose it and rename it as splash. Select this media one layer. In track mat, convert it into alpha mat. As you can see the differences here 
of media 1. Now we will add the text for it. Enter the text according to your choice. And resize the scale size of text. Set the text properly in Align tool. Let's animate this text layer. Select this text layer and hit S and give keyframe at 0 second and at end give the keyframe and come back to 0 second and give the keyframe of 110%. Select media layer and hit Ctrl D to duplicate and drag down the media layer below the splash layer. Hit T and set the opacity to 20%. Let us add the ink splash for this text layer. Go to end frame and duplicate this layer. and resize the scale of splash layer according to the text layer. Set it behind the text layer. According to our text, rotate it to 90 degrees and set it properly. One more splash layer will be added over the text layer and move it above the text layer. Select this layer and convert it into alpha mat. Now you can see the animation of your composition. I want this text to animate after the media animation. So we will select these layers and move these three layers for around 2 seconds. Now it's looking good. Now we will create one solid layer. Let us call this light and change the color to red. Select this light layer and search for fractal noise and double click on it. In fractal noise, contrast change it to 150. Complexity 1. And in transform set the scale to 1000. Now for evolution, hold ALT and click on this clock and give the expressions for this. Enter time into 75. Now this and you can check here the animation of the light layer. For this layer, we will add hue saturation. Now in this hue saturation, check on colorize. Colorize saturation 200 and colorize hue, we will be setting it to 300. Select this light layer and change it to screen mode. Now see the animation. To make it much better, let us set to 250. Let me see it now. It's looking good. In fact, it's looking perfect. Now except BG and light layer, select remaining 
all the layers and pre-compose it. Let us call it as scene 1. In project monitor, we will duplicate scene 1 composer. Go to ink splash 1, select scene 1 and in monitor project select scene 1 and hit ctrl D to duplicate it. Add double click on the scene 2 composer. In this we will replace media 1 layer with media 2 layer. For that hold alt select media 2 layer and drag and drop over this media 1 layer. Wherever the media 1 layer is appearing just replace it with media 2. Select this text layer, enter the text of your own choice. Now go to ink splash, drag and drop the scene to layer and move it around 5 seconds. Let us check this as you can see it here. The second media is overlapping. To hide this, go to scene 2 and hide this media 2 layer. And come back to ink splash and let us check it now. Select the scene 1 layer. Hold Alt and hit square bracket before the scene 2 layer animation starts. We can move this scene 2 layer a little bit that is a few frames back. Let me check it now. Oh it's looking good. By using these skills you can create more such interesting animations okay thank you so much for watching the tutorial if you are new to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon thank you